Lauren Sheets is here. There you oh. are. We haven't seen you in a while. How's everything up in North Carolina? Laura is on as well as Summer and Brittany. Hello, friends. Hello. And it's Summer's first time joining us. Every time I hear the name Summer, I think Summer Roberts from BOC. So I have actually four different surprise shot requests. For today? Uh, no, like specific ones teed up. And I, I didn't. I didn't go to the liquor store to get these specific things. I know, I know, I'm terrible. You should have told terrible me. Terrible person. I would have gone. You could have told me. You could have well, stopped on the t- way. Then two people would have known. Um. So I, I will. I apologize. Um. And it's not that we don't have um someone to do a dedication for, but there's a uh, very specific ones that were requested from Amanda, Lynn, Eric, Chris, and Brittany. Um, so I will be sure to pick up those ingredients for those specific request surprise shot requests then. So today, um, we're actually going to do our surprise shot for Rachel, um, because she did not give me a specific one. Um, so I picked for you, Rachel. Um, so I will, uh, catch up on these specific requests starting next week. I will, I will get all of them so that we're ready for like two weeks in a row Two, you know, one per episode, two episodes. There we go. On my Instagram feed, it came up a Delta 8 seltzer. So there's no liquor, but there's Delta 8 in it. Wait, wait, what is is Delta 8? It's like the strand of, uh, it's like, it's, it comes from the marijuana plant, but it doesn't have THC in it or something. It's like the closest thing to marijuana that's legal. Oh, you just jumped me into my new sponsorship. (laughs) Actually, Yeah. (laughs) By the time you podcast listeners hear this, and I don't have it on yet, but the the guy, one of the, uh, Tyler at uh, the, Jupiter. One of the founders. Yeah, one of the founders. He wants me to send my picture and <gasps> a testimony. Are you going to be on the website? I am. <gasps> what? Are you going to go by Johnny Lama or are you going to go by your real name? Uh, or just John? Probably Ooh. just Johnny. Maybe Johnny. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I have to think about it. What do you think I should do? I don't, um, I and feel I need like, a, I feel like you should use, I need a testimony too. Like, I, like I've I been can using, help you like a quote. write it. I can help you write it. Yeah. Cause you can talk about all the, the benefits yeah. and, and also we give it to our dogs. Like this, this increases girth and length within 30 days. Oh wait, that's the wrong product. <laughs> wrong, wrong product ambassadorship. But have you found okay. it helpful for the dogs? I was thinking about giving some to Murphy before I bring him in the car. We, oh yeah, dude, it's really helpful. So I am giving Luna probably like way more than um it, you're supposed to give dogs. Yeah. But I do notice that she is like much more mellow. Uh, real quick, guys. So what we're talking about, I got a new sponsor. Well, actually, we've been using this product for two years. Every day, we've been for yeah. two years. Mm-hmm. Seriously, Jupiter C- CBD. It's, Do you have their new bottle over there? You have that's their old bottle behind you. I saw one in the kitchen. It's like pretty. Yeah, they they just upgraded their branding. That's the old branding. Yeah, that's the old branding. I think you gave me a sample bottle of it. It's really good. I don't know if you guys it's good stuff. Yeah, I like the mint really one. The mint. Yeah, flavor. it's yeah. all it's mint like. flavored. But anyway, get Jupiter dot com slash llama. I think yeah. it'll be llama. llama. So it's two L's in there, and you get ten percent off. You go to that link. Anyway, this story here, man. I know we're about to do surprise shots, but let me tell you, this story is this story is hard. Are we is are we doing part two of? Yeah, we are going to do part two of Unit Seven Three One after this first okay. one. Okay. Okay. The first one here for any of you guys watching that are new. Uh, the first one for the public YouTube, I guess, is an accident that somebody requested on the blog talkmore.com you put that little thing on there mm-hmm. sometimes when people request things if it has a title that i just cannot look away from like sperm cupcakes if you put that in there and that's a story i'm going to do it the very next day so did i tell y'all the day after um we released the sperm cupcakes i had to go into the office for two days that week because i had a um a lot of my coworkers were in from out of town including my uh, new future boss and we had gotten cupcakes for our current like interim boss and i was not going to eat one but lo and behold i ate a cupcake the literally the next fucking day we were on that episode 
I almost forgot because they were talking about cupcakes last last night. I was I was helping out. See, we can block things from our memory. Like, yeah, you will it not. Will, it will not ruin cupcakes for me. You will not be able to block the video you're going to see tonight. Oh, damn. Shit. This video. All right. So this story, I I went into all the details. It is. Like, I have everything mapped out, but this is one of those video stories that you have to see the video. Now, I can play most of the video here on YouTube, but since I don't know the laws, not the laws, but, like, can I show dead bodies on YouTube type of thing? Is like, it, like, I, block, is it, like, I don't know. Censored? Well, it's, see, I've seen videos like this before, but, you know, you have to click the, are you 18? Yeah. But, so I don't really know the rules, but I'm going to play half the video, and then I'm going to kind of like make it disappear so you can't see the rest but you guys are going to probably scream <laughs> we're gonna scream <laughs> yeah when i watched the video for Hang the on. first time all right we're gonna need to drink more uh, <laughs> i can't drink too much because like what if they don't let me on the airplane no they'll let you on i've been on planes before where people have been fucking what wasted. are you freaking flying it <laughs> <laughs> my dad was let's, a pilot let's just <laughs> hand those uh those headphones over to jen and would you be able to land that plane like if everyone else is passed out and this pregnant woman with a, a one-year-old is like oh my god please someone do something you're the only one awake lady you have to land this plane i would try to wake someone else up first <laughs> and then if no one woke up i would say well <laughs> i guess we're all dead <laughs> i would at least but do a barrel roll <laughs> <laughs> i will land it but i'll do a barrel roll <laughs> but like you can't get into the cockpit it's locked i i don't can no, you I, not no you can't after 9 11 oh. they oh. locked the cockpit hmm. that's a good safety precaution what if the pilots are? That's why there's two. Ugh. All right. This one's for Rachel. Okay, Rachel. Surprise shots. Surprise shots. We don't know what they are because they're a surprise. Cheers. 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 Cheers, Rachel. Cheers, Rachel. Oh, that was great. What was it? Oh, the aftertaste sucks. What was it? <laughs> Western Sun Blueberry Vodka. Ugh. The aftertaste is terrible. It was pretty good. No, we're actually going to Bolivia tonight. Bolivia. Ooh. And Jen's going to tell us where that is. It's in... It's, it's in... <laughs> were you about to say Spain? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> South America. <laughs> you were about to say... Nailed it. Okay, good. No, she was about to say Spain. No, I wasn't. <laughs> she were. <laughs> Welcome to the Talk Murder Me podcast. My name is John. I'm sitting here with Jen and Nicole tonight. We are doing a story that was a request on the blog. You can go to talkmurder.com to request. You'll see a little box there. Most of these requests that I've been doing have not had names. And a couple people claim them on if they get on live chat or whatever. But if you'd like to leave your name, you can. It's just one box. If not, it's, it's totally fine. You don't have to put your email address in or anything. You just type whatever in the box. And actually, a lot of people type, uh, you know, oh, my God, I love you love this or whatever, which is great. Even though, you know, it says case request. Oh, my God, I love you guys. <laughs> put that in the comments so uh, pu people can see that publicly. Put that on a fucking review, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I still love it. Those coming in, you know. But anyway, so you can do that if you want this. Tonight's story is a request. We're going to March 2nd, 8 a.m. This is the University, El Alto Pub Publico University de Bolivia. Hang on, two questions. Okay, um, so I have time is, for one. Is this a request <laughs> then? And who who is this? I are you even listening? Uh, yes, it's a request. Well, from who? Though? She does, he doesn't it know. It doesn't know. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't know. <laughs> and then the second is: Do you have a link that you can send it to them if they want to watch it on their own time and you not get in trouble? Oh yeah, yeah, you can do that. yeah. You put it in the chat. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the whole video pretty much. It's just I'm just gonna cut out the. I'm just gonna not show the dead bodies here on but we get to see them well yeah but before you watch this video it's all right <laughs> trigger before warning we watch trigger this warning video. is our <laughs> you'll you'll know which part i'm talking about 
it made my jaw drop open. There's not going to be like a jump scare, is there? Because I don't do that shit ah! either. <laughs> <laughs> no, jump scare, what the fuck? I, ah! I just, I you're just, like, I don't know. You're psyching me up for this. I, I just feel like one it. of these days he's going to be like, we're watching a video, wow. it's serious, and then he's going to, it's going to show the it's part of the video, clowns. and then he's going to have like a, a, it jump out and be like, ah, 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 and then it's going to be a prank. All right. Like I said, March 2nd, 8 a.m. This is 2021. This is in the epidemic. Pandemic. Or pandemic. Is this at a, this is at a college, you said? Yeah, this is a university in Bolivia. doing they're pro they're protesting I'll, I'll tell you about it later is someone getting into a fight up there too all right let me let me give you a little context before we go forward just so you guys know they are protesting and i'm going to get into what they're protesting but these are college university students uh, 19 i think through 24 they're all protesting and there's about 400 people up here and they're protesting the university and we're going to get to, to why in a second, but that's why you hear screaming and then you'll see a kind of a fight break out. It's more of a pushing bout. You'll see that here in a second, but that's some context for you. All right. Continuing. You see the fighting? Yeah. So I, sp- I, d- I don't know if I cut it the right place. Oh, no. If not, fuck it. Just, I'm just keep it going. That's what I was supposed to cut. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Shit. I don't like that. I mean, that was, what, four flights of stairs? Did you see the part I was talking about where he gets you? Yeah. The part where they, they look Hit. the camera down? What? Huh? When, when they actually look the camera. <laughs> this is the part that gets me. I'm just going to play it. Trigger warning. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, right, right here. <gasps> yeah, when they hit the ground. When you see him hit the ground, falling, yeah, that's five floors. They fell on concrete. I just fucking (laughs) ruined this whole podcast. (laughs) Everyone's like, I'm gonna go listen to my favorite murder. (laughs) It's three fifteen. Thank you for your time. (laughs) Oh man. Oh shit. Wow, I will never. Now, now, if I didn't stand against a railing before, I never will fucking touch one. Oh my God. <laughs> that one got me, man. I told you. That one got me. When, they, when they're falling, it's at first, I'm like, oh my God, they fell off a rail. Because you see that all the time, like, you know, sports venues and people just fall. Then you see how far down they but fell. But then he, he brings the camera down. And you actually see the two of them falling head first. And then you see all the bodies down there on the concrete. Oh, that is, that got me. That's the, when I saw that, my jaw opened. And I was just like, I did not see that coming. I didn't, because I had no context. I didn't know it was on the fifth floor. I didn't know there was concrete. Like, I just watched these videos just out of nowhere. It's like the horse video. Just watch it. With no context. (laughs) And suddenly everyone watching this has a fear of heights that they never had before. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So, yeah, I uh, I was I'll try to make it disappear. I don't think YouTube's going to have a problem with it. I don't know. Well, it wasn't on the screen, I don't think, because look, we're not. It's not on there now. Whatever. It's what happens. So that's what happens. It was not intentional. No, I mean, this was. YouTube, don't... No, I meant, like, it wasn't intentional for us to show them the whole video. 
I mean, big news sites show the whole. Well, no, they don't. Not the whole video. But I'm going to go in. There's a little more besides the falling. Obviously, the terrible part, the one that's really heartbreaking and just completely makes you emotionless is looking down at the bodies and seeing them fall. But if you go back and I'll show you, show you what I'm talking about. There is one girl. Well, there's two girls, actually, that are being pulled up and they survive. Yeah, but yeah. It, that is scary. Yeah. Oh my God, like she was about to fall, you know? Jesus and then, Christ. and people wonder why we need to drink why is during this podcast. Like, they're All like, right. when I tell it, people, it was like, we drink. And okay. I was like, okay, like, why do you need to drink? It We're, things this like is this. why we need to drink. No We're more requests. No more requests. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> it's like, here, watch wow. this. And you're like, who okay. Who wants it, to admit like, what, that they requested it's this? It's like, song? hey guys, I'm taking requests. Okay, uh, having sex with a horse. Eating sperm <laughs> cupcakes and falling to your death off a fucking railing. Like, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> well, there are kind of people, what can I say? <laughs> yeah. Or are we their kind of people? Yeah. Uh, so Because you, you took the bait. You took the bait. and <laughs> it, Was that not the one of the worst videos you've ever seen? That was hard. It That's was. What was brutal. the hard? Is the hard part the same as mine? Cause or was it when they the fell? Th- I think the moment that the railing snapped and you knew it was going to happen, but then seeing them hit the ground. Did you? You had no idea it was that high up, did you? Mm-mm. I mean, you could you could tell that they weren't on the on they weren't on a first floor, and so it could be deadly even if it was a second floor. And knowing it was the fifth, yeah, nobody survives that. There were a couple survivors. That's amazing. That fell. Yeah, that's amazing. That there were. Yeah, but there were most of them not. That was a hard video, guys. I've got, and there were a lot of, well, I have three different cell phone videos. Of this incident? Of this. Wow. Different, because there's a big protest going on, and they were fighting, pushing, and then all of a sudden that rail snapped, man. Obviously not a murder. There were seven people arrested for this, as we'll get into. But- and and they're still. This is still ongoing. This only happened. Because it only happened a year ago. Yeah, it only happened a year ago. Wow. I didn't hear about this. I don't think. Yeah, it's, it's in Bolivia. It didn't happen here. Yeah. So. No one. I, I doubt anyone's covered this. You heard it here first, folks. But Maybe. man, if if you guys learn nothing else, or not, we're not teachers. But if you guys get away with nothing else from this podcast. Don't stand near rails, railway, rail uh, backings or whatever. You know, my sister also says Jesus. don't touch the handrail on the escalator because it's really dirty. But also don't use the bathroom blower. I don't. I don't. Yeah, don't use that. I would rather walk out with wet hands. It actually puts more germs on you. I know. Because think about it. There's fecal matter Shut up. floating I know, around. I don't, think about it. I don't like I, to think about let's it. Let's not talk I, about fecal matter when I'm trying to drink here. And I don't. <laughs> I don't. Like you're ruining my buzz. I don't use the bathroom Why blower. Are you, are you drinking a dark towels. IPA? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, let's get on with this one. Into the void. March 2nd, 8 a.m. The... The Economic, Financial, and Administrative Sciences area. This was on the fifth floor of El Alto Public. I have like half of it in Spanish and half of it in English. Publico? El, yeah, so El Alto Public University of Bolivia. Located on the Rio... Screw you. <laughs> All right, tonight we're going to the El Alto Publico Univer- Universidad. It's exactly what the fucking sound. El Alto means the Alto. I do know that. No, El Alto means the high. Tonight we're going March 2nd, 8 a.m. Economic, Financial, Administrative Science Area. This is on the fifth floor. And as you saw, how how tall do you think that fall is? Let me go back and just... Oh, it's got to be like at least 75 feet. Um, how, how many feet is the story? I don't know. I was 12? about to ask that same question. I don't know. Hey, Siri. I don't want her listening to me. God. Well, that's one more listener than we have. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now we have four. <laughs> hey, Siri. All right. If you guys haven't heard this, you probably won't. Siri doesn't want to play with us. <laughs> you probably won't hear it She's anywhere else. Because I'm pretty sure the guy that's requesting this is our competitor. <laughs> anyway, tonight they we're... They want to take us down. <laughs> tonight we're going March 2nd, 8 a.m. Obviously, you saw the video. I'll put the link on talkmore.com. I'm not going to be embedding videos anymore because, I don't know, man. I feel like as we're getting bigger, I feel like, I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble. Not that I care, but I don't want to get sued because, like, you know... We don't really have the money to be sued. I literally like, we can't afford had it. insufficient funds in my bank account three times this week, so Sorry. I will not be able to assist with any legal fees. <laughs> well, the problem is I'm the only one on the business, and I am. Like, we get We're sued. Fucked. We get sued. Can you do we like an I? House. Do you do I? Oh, you, you? I can bring back to my what kind next of payment party. plan. Can you work out? <laughs> Anyway, I'll put... The, you don't pay unless you lose. Unless you win. I'll put the link on uh, talkmore.com for the uh, the actual video. I do have little videos that don't show the dead bodies. Obviously, you have seven... Well, you actually, you have more than seven. I think it was uh, seven plus four is... Eleven. Eleven. You have eleven people fall. Seven died. Not all at once, though. Actually, three of those people were rushed to the hospital, and they died... After that, five critically injured. This was, oh, excuse me, I said fifth floor. This was the fourth floor. A metal railing gave way. The students were up there. They were protesting. Now, what do you think they'd be protesting? Policy, uh, grades. Okay, yeah, go with that. No, it's good. That's correct, but tell me uh, specifically. I said before they're on the economic, financial, and administrative science area. So if that tells you anything. Um, the cost of education, the policy of student loan repayment. Um, Does the university have anything to do were, with that? I was going to say, were they p- being forced to like pay full price in the pandemic when they weren't paying no. for board? No, but that's a really good guess. Was it had something to do with how Bolivia's economy is doing amidst the pandemic? I don't know how their economy is doing, but no, but those are all really good guesses. Now, if you want to read this, and I'm going to tell you why in a second, they're protesting a change. It took me a long time to kind of figure out what they're talking about. It's so minute from what I've saw. And of course, this entire story is in, this entire story is in Spanish and is entirely translated from Google. So I think I know the the reason that they're protesting, but it's really minute from what I saw, but you saw them up there. They're yelling and screaming, and I'll show you one video where they're actually chanting, like arms up in the air, and there are 400 students on this thing, and they're they're trying to get into this one little room that definitely doesn't hold 400 people to begin with. But as I did say earlier, there are several piece, there are several people that were arrested and are awaiting trial for this. So there has to be something. Organizers of the protest, perhaps. There you go. Okay, if you want to read this, this is um, this is from Al Jazeera. Although, like, are they holding them liable for the deaths? I don't know yet. There's there's re- there's really no news about if there's the latest news, which happened two days ago, which I haven't here, is a memorandum, which I'll show you that. The Bolivian police are doing full investigations on everyone involved. So they haven't they haven't charged anyone with anything. They haven't they haven't done anything. They haven't sued the university. The families haven't sued or anything yet. So so they're they're not suing necessarily for like involuntary manslaughter. I don't know if they're being charged, but they are being investigated. Okay. They they were Got arrested. It. Though they were arrested, so there was a charge, and I, I'm going to get into what they arrested them for. But as far as charging them and sentencing and okay. conviction, there's nothing yet. So it wasn't necessarily related to the people who died by accident here. It is related to this protest. Yes, they had obviously, but not the deaths specifically, because I would say it's an accident, and possibly has more to do with the structure infrastructure of the building than 
this happened 2021. So think about what was going on, the pandemic, obviously. Which there's a lot of people there you go together for a pandemic. And during that specific time, you're not supposed to have crowds. And this is more than a crowd. This is a a clusterfuck. Mob. This it's is a, a yeah, a mob. So there's fault there too with the university. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? There's yeah. a lot of there's a lot to go through in cases like this. Cause it's not like you killed him, I'm charging you for this. It's like, well, we got the railing that wasn't built right. We got too many people up there. There's mask mandates nobody's following. Mm. You know, and I mean, but how is that yeah. the fault of the university? The railing I can see, unless th- they, unless it was a pre-approved protest, but and the university had knowledge of the protest and said it was okay for it to go on. Um, then I don't see how. Well, that- this did happen at eight in the morning, so I'm not saying that they didn't know. But here, let me go to the next slide. If you want to read this, this is from Al Jazeera. Uh, From this incident, seven have died and five are in critical state, some of them stabilized in hospitals in the city of El Alto near La Paz, Health Minister Jason Azua said. I am going to go through a little more of the videos. If y'all don't want if you don't want to see anything, just don't look. This is bad, but I, I do want to show you some of the other camera angles and I want to talk about. Like when the rail breaks, I want to talk about the people that were saved because you can see them. Yeah, they were like pulling one girl yeah, back up. Yeah, and that, oh, Christ, man, that gave me anxiety too. It's like, and you can hear one person like, pull her up, pull her up, pull her up. Like, I mean, because if she falls, she's dead. Anyway, here's one of the videos. So you see it break. Mm-hmm. Obvious. Well, I think this is the girl that is uh, saved. Oh, no. Yeah, she's saved. It's like she got uh, hung up or something. Yeah. Because she was, like, right at the railing. Oh, my God. And that person in the blue right there, like, they had them, and then... Yeah. They they well, remember remember this guy the, in the blue, because there's a quote from his girlfriend, and she specifically says he's the one in the blue. One person got lucky and fell to the next floor. Oh, yeah. my God. Two people. Yeah. Oh. oh, my God. That's fucking terrible. I mean, look how far that shit is, man. Jesus Christ. Hard to watch. Oh, my God. That is hard to watch. Isn't it? Holy hell. So, I mean, you see him pushing right there. Yeah. So this is what this is what's confusing about this story to me, because these students are against the faculty for a change made in the economics program, which I'm going to talk about. But they actually start pushing. As you see, the, the rail breaks because of the weight. Yeah. But it also breaks because of the, the momentum of the pushing, which they are doing right now. You see that? That's a totally different angle. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, you see, because even like in here, they're kind of like pushing back and forth. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. He almost caught on, too, dude. He had someone's hand. Jesus hands. Christ. So what do you guys think so far? It's heartbreaking. Yeah. All right. So this is kind of a short story, but let's get get it done. The ages of the students, and I, I'll tell you the students' names. There's only seven of them. Before 8 a.m. happened, so 745, a mandatory attendance was required by the staff of the Economic, Financial, and Administrative Sciences area. From what I saw... They said anyone at this school that is in the economic or finance program, you must report to the administrative sciences area. That where they're standing now leads into uh, an open room where they were going to discuss a new change in the economics program. The students knew the change, what it was. 
the assembly addressed financial issues and, quote, student centers that completed their term were ratified. And if that doesn't make sense, it's because, you know, it's translation. What I saw is they wanted to add more courses in the economic and financial program. And that pissed a lot of people off because those people have already paid for certain courses and taken certain courses. Now they're not worth anything type of thing. So those people are really, those students are really upset. So they were coming there because it was mandatory. They had to be there because they had to hear this change. So that mandatory calling came from the school, from the officials Mm. of the economics department. Interesting. Okay. Now, obviously they didn't know this would happen but they did know that number one, they have how many students in the economics program? Number two, they all have to show up at 8 a.m. and wait by the door with the the mask protocol in effect in Bolivia at the time. You can't have crowds. And they're pissed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe. So it wasn't necessarily a. So what were people organizing this as a protest instead? This is what not, it's this like is what I'm called for this. This is there you go. This is what I'm saying. They called everyone to show up. Now you have hundreds, literally 400 kids up there all discussing this new change and how it's going to screw them over. And they got to pay for a different economics class and their program is all changed. And what they just took doesn't matter anymore. They're all discussing this. And they just start protesting because in the video, as I'll show you here in a second, again, you'll hear the protest. They're actually throwing their arms up, protesting in Spanish, obviously, but it's protesting the administration for doing this. So, I mean, where, wherever you want to put that fault, I don't know. It's the school. Mm-hmm. Like this, it like this group got together at the school's request and it was mandatory yeah it w- in the pandemic mm-hmm. to yeah. show up in person mm-hmm. what do you guys uh, what do you guys think on live chat do you think whose fault is that it sounds like the school that whole every, every, all the context you shared totally changes everything i yeah. think yeah oh it took me a while to figure it out because i still am not 100 percent on what courses were changed or anything but I know there was changes and I know students were pissed off. And I also know that this was a mandatory meeting. I'm surprised that they would have made that mandatory in person. Like that to me is actually pretty wild. As soon as this happened, firefighters and EMTs got there and who you're seeing now, that's a security guard for the school. As soon as this happened, fire and EMT took all the students who were not dead from the fall to the El Norte Hospital and the Cordes Clinic, which are really relatively close. The security, the campus security, and they probably don't even know it yet in this video right here. This guy probably doesn't know it yet, but the campus security, that's his job. This guy specifically, there's like three or four of them, were in charge of removing the bodies the dead bodies and in i know this is translated from spanish but it said in the uh, in one of the articles from andina.p whatever that is that the uh, security cleaned up the bodies you know they had to clean up the mess type of thing pretty bad man think about it because this guy probably doesn't even know he's got to do that yet i would imagine The students who were facing each other in the upper part of the building shoved, detached the railing. Then about seven people fell from one of the railings. Andy Haukana, executive secretary of university workers, told Fidesz Radio. So pretty bad. If you want to read this, this is from one of the victims. In an interview with Bolivia Son, the young woman asserted that as students of the education sciences degree, the representatives forced them to attend the assembly. They are a mafia, the ones that forced us, lamented the student who lost her friend, Yurko Sal Mamani, due to the fall she suffered in the university building. All of them from the FUL, the representative, forced us to go and forced him. My partner, Yurko Saul, is there. He is dead. 
we have been forced to go. He has fallen. And if you see the video, it is the one in blue. Thanks to them, he is dead, exclaimed the young woman who kept her identity confidential. So right there, you see from the mouth of one of the people on there, or at least a victim or a girlfriend, a girlfriend of the victim, one of, no, I say victim, a girlfriend of one of the fallen that they were forced to go. So this is definitely, in my opinion, and I guess y'all's too, it was the fault of the university. Yeah. So these are actually the people that were arrested. So there were four, five, six, seven people arrested for this. Wow. And or investigated. No, this okay. says arrested initially. One one of the the investigators related this, and this is kind of where I pulled the change in the economics career. Quote: In days gone by, to the tragic event. Student authorities changed in the careers of business administration and internal audit. The objective was to make changes in the economics career. That was the official reason for the change. That's all I've seen about it. So the the people that you're seeing now on the screen, these seven people, they're all the executives. They're, they're not kids. These are all 40 year olds in charge that like, for instance, the secretary counselor is Vladimir Poma Ali. He was accused of having signed the summons to the student assembly. Another one was accused of signing the summons. They're all accused of signing the summons. That made this mandatory. That made this mandatory. Got it. Makes which sense. which also includes the fact that they're not supposed to do this at all during the a pandemic, a pandemic. So, and this is literally... Yeah, that's pretty bad. Like, one... What? I mean, if if this was not in a pandemic, making something mandatory in person, you can see. Um, But in the day of everything being virtual and optional and, like, in person, not required, and think about this being a year ago, you know, this was in the height of things... We've been married. I'm trying to like, this is, yeah. I mean, the pandemic was still in full force a year ago. So to make it mandatory and required during that time, it's kind of unheard of. Yeah. Bad look, but um, I feel like also, unless there was a legal policy in place in Bolivia, um, there was. You can't have crowds. Then, then yeah, they would be. At then, fault. then they're they are in violation of that policy. Yeah, but you got to keep in mind. You also got to keep in mind that if this wouldn't happen, they wouldn't have gotten in trouble for it. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm sure a lot of this happens. It's only unfortunately the rail gave way. Well, okay, think about it this way: like we got married in the pandemic and technically you weren't supposed to have crowds of more than like a certain number of people. I think even in that time, well, actually, I think yeah. we were, I think we were technically still compliant based on the number. It was of like 90, 90% of my family, which none of them believe that COVID was okay. real. We're not going to go into that. <laughs> so, but I, but I'm saying if not, if, any, if, 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 if it was inf- incident free, which it was then like, yeah, no harm, no foul. But if something had happened, then yeah, we would have gotten in trouble. Incident free. I got locked down. <laughs> Shit. So, you know. That was dumb. You know what I mean? But yeah. like, so yeah, but but this is a very large number of people. Yeah, yeah. Um, And it's an official university. They're, they're, you've got pictures of their stamps and seals on this effing thing to get people in person and mandatory. Our wedding was optional. Come if you felt comfortable. Wait, it was? Small. <laughs> Not yeah, for you. It wasn't for you. <laughs> the, but you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know what you mean. The youngest kid that died, 19 years old, Limberth Lucana Arkaya, he actually died at 1030 that morning at the hospital Del Norte. He was 19 years old at the time of his death. He was the youngest one of the accident. And he came alive to the hospital. Hospital Del Norte, but his condition was critical and he finally passed away at 1030. Mm. The young man's mother said that her son had passed 
had just passed his entrance exam and that he was getting ready to start at the university. Anyway, so there you go. That's basically the story. That's the information. Wow. What what do you guys think of that? That wasn't really a murder. Well, this is kind of a weird week because I'm trying to get this Unit 731 thing done. Finally. That was hard to watch. Yeah, it was. Sure. Yeah. All right, so I guess that's that story. I know it's kind of short and not much to it, but I don't know. It was very interesting. No one else has done it. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> it's pretty fucked. Seeing that video is fucked. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I hope if, you- I, if yeah, if I didn't have a fear of railings before, I'd absolutely do now. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys like that. I, I don't know. It's kind of a shot in the dark kind of a story, but I really hope you guys thought it was interesting at least. Definitely don't don't be standing near railings. Holy hell, man. Jesus Christ. Never going to look at a railing the same again. Ever. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, have you ever noticed... I'm trying to think of an instance where we've been somewhere with heights, and I've... Like, if you've ever noticed me, what like, about push back. What about no. those VR games where you look down and you see the... You don't see me playing VR with that shit. Mm-hmm. Anyway... The only thing, yeah, because I think even when we went to Greenville and we were on the bridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good, exa- that's a perfect example. I was like, nope, Mm-mm. you, you can be closer to the railing. I will not. So, and that's it for this story. Interesting, kind of. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Fair. Let me know. Go talk more.com. I'll put the videos on there. And that's it, man. Until next time. Good night, you lovely, lovely people.